Hey, this is Russ. When did you know that your knee was going to be okay? <laughs> Maybe you're not at that level yet, okay? But believe me, you'll get there, all right? Let me, let me tell you real quickly when I knew that I might be okay. Now, I'm not saying that it actually was okay at that time, but I kind of felt like maybe I'll be okay, all right? I would say that was um, end of January or beginning to mid-February of 2020, okay? So my knee replacement was September 19th, 2019. So that would make it about four and a half to five months later when I finally felt maybe I might be okay, all right? Now, you all know I'm still not okay. I'm still dealing with things, but it's much better. You know, I'm able to go out and ride my bike and things like that now, right? But uh, I'm still dealing with things. I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a second here. But I, I would say it was f about four and a half to five months later from the knee replacement. And my gauge was based on my flexion numbers because I think at that time, uh, that's what we were really all concentrating on. He says, you got to get that guy to flex. You got you to reach 120 degrees, right? <laughs> you know, that's usually the magic number they usually tell you, okay? So that's when I hit 120 degrees. But this was 120 degrees under pushing and screaming, <laughs> right? So uh, I wasn't quite there yet because if, if, if you only hit 120 when the guy's pushing you to the point of screaming, that's not your natural... <laughs> flexion okay that's him pushing you okay anyone can get more flexion if they push hard on you so um but i knew at that time that maybe i might be able to get better because up to that point i kept thinking man am i ever going to get better <laughs> okay so that gave me a little bit of hope and that's because i hit the 120 under the screaming but it took a lot longer to the point where i can actually get 120 on my own <laughs> all right um they got me to 130 at about uh, six months, something like that. And then the pandemic happened and I had to stop everything, okay? And the history of my knee, you all know, I ended up reverting backwards and I was at like 104 degrees. And that's when I got the jazz uh, knee units in and that brought me back. So today I am 120 on my own. Now that's a big difference than them pushing you to 120 and screaming, all right? So, um, but it really, it, it, that was, I think, the turning point when I said, maybe I might actually get better. But prior to that, yeah, I kept thinking, it's, it's never going to happen. I mean, this is doing terrible. I mean, I was in the 90s after uh, the second, uh, the, after the first MUA, I was in the 90s. Before the MUA, I was in the 70s. Then I hit the 90s, had the second MUA, and then I hit the 100. <laughs> so it was a slow climb, right? But I think that was that was when I thought maybe this might be, get better. Now, I don't feel I'm actually 100% better because going up the stairs, um, if I don't have my cane with me and I just have a handrail, it could take me a while to get up there. I don't have the, my knee doesn't have the strength level to pull me all the way up. I, I always have to kind of grab the handrail and pull myself up <laughs> as my knee is going up. The reason I keep the cane there is because now I have a handrail and a cane and both things together uh, while pushing on those things and also pushing with my knee and my legs getting up, then I can get up the stairs faster. Same thing going down the stairs. I'm kind of slow because I feel it as I'm coming down. So having a handrail and a cane <laughs> helps me up and down the stairs. This is the only time I really use the cane at this point is going up and down stairs. Eventually, we have to stop that. Right? Eventually, I'm going to have to just do this on my own. But I'm not there yet, okay? And so we're talking 19 months now, and I'm still not there yet. But I don't feel that that's the thing that's going to say that I'm, I'm not better. Uh, I do feel that my knee is much better because I'm, I'm able to function at this point. I just, well, I can't do this. All right, let, let me say this. If I had to go someplace and I knew that there was stairs, <laughs> I'd have to think through, do I really want to go to that place? Now, that's that's kind of bad, don't you think? That you, that you can't just go and do something. You have to have to really have to kind of plan it out whether you're going to go there or you're not based on the fact of whether they have stairs or not. <laughs> so you're really not there yet. You, you know what I'm saying? Are you guys like that? Um, if I were to go, okay, let me say this. If I were to go on a vacation, the first thing I would be asking myself is, how much walking is there? <laughs> Okay. Second thing would be, is there stairs or climbing involved? All right. 
third thing is, can I take my scooter? <laughs> Does it have uh, mobility access, right? That's, that's not being normal. You agree with that? <laughs> All right. So anyways, just a short one today. I just wanted to, to kind of bring these things out. Let me know in the comments what you think. What, what do you think of? when when you're when you're doing things do you think things through like this <laughs> and are you at the level where you feel like maybe i will get normal or are you still stuck at the level of i wonder where i'm going to be ending up with with this knee okay make a couple comments anyways if you like the video hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i'll talk to you guys next time